Lots and lots of Tomb Raider news coming out recently with the, well, revelation that there's going to be a unified Lara. What are, what are we talking about? Unified, oh, I'm sorry, Lara Croft. Lara Croft, we need to get the enunciation correct. Okay, unified Lara design that's going to bridge together Crystal Dynamics, next Tomb Raider game, which they still haven't announced, and also the classic Lara that's out there, and then also is this going to tap into what we're going to see on the screen in regards to the Amazon series that is being helmed by one great Phoebe Waller. I killed the predecessor to Tomb Raider, Indiana Jones, Waller Bridge. Is anybody looking forward to any of the projects that are out there? Because there's one that just dropped within the overarching Tomb Raider franchise that people are kind of enjoying, okay? But it is not without its own bugaboos, but we'll get to that shortly because, you know, people people aren't exactly happy with his unified design because, well, you take a look at the body and, well, it's fine if they're going with a more realistic, realistic approach, okay? Just, you know, having the triangular boobies from the old PS1 era, it's not going to quite work as well as it used to, but uh, the proportions don't look terrible they're not atrocious it's like yeah okay she could have probably a bigger cup but then at the same time if she's gonna be you know traipsing through jungles and stuff you kind of want the girls to be you know fixed backwards so yeah okay like if she's built like dakota johnson when she's supposed to be schmoozing at a ball if they do any sort of you know off the beaten path femme fatale type stuff in any of the new projects well that's gonna be a problem but looking at her face I mean, I got a more mean glance than Timothy Chalamet, but also cuts a similar jawline. So that's kind of an interesting look that you're going for. But trying to masculinize one of the most quintessential 90s representations of the femme fatale archetype. It's a bold strategy. And I remember all the hype that the Tomb Raider reboot, Strong Empowered Woman, who is known to have dual wielding pistols with a bow kind of setting off that trend which we're still dealing with just about two decades later and she was cute she had a rounded face and she definitely looked like a young lara croft but now now that she looks like she got that shaved jaw procedure that is all the rage in korea you know, i'm not exactly you know, a big fan about that but big news for followers of lara croft unification theory tomb raider developer crystal dynamics oh pfft piss on their name, has revealed, and spit on their name as well, because you don't piss with your mouth, a, a new piece of art for the character that may closely represent the way that she'll look in the series' next game. The reveal has apparently been anticipated for years, as in 2021, Tomb Raider franchise's director Will, or Will Kurzlake said the Crystal Dynamics envision a future for Tomb Raider unfolding after an established adventures of the original core design gamers and its own prequel trilogy. Trilogy. We're working to unify these timeless cur uh, these timelines, right? With no new Tomb Raider games since 2018. Wow, it was like 2009 or 2011 on the Xbox 360. I got the collector's edition of that. That's the that's the one out of the three that I did beat. I started with Rise of the Tomb Raider, and well, I didn't get out of the introductory level because I don't know, it was just boring me to tears, and I didn't even bother starting Shadow because well, I didn't beat Rise, and I didn't think that the third one and the third one that I heard ended up getting the worst review. So why would I even bother my time fair plugging through the second one in order to get to a lackluster third? It didn't make any sense to me. So yeah, it's not like anybody's champing at the bit for another installation. Okay, everybody's just far more happy playing these remasters that just ended up dropping, and uh, they're deeply discounted. That's not to throw any shade to them. It's just you're running back games that are pushing three decades old. You're giving them an upscale, updating the controls, and then also inserting modern day sensibilities into classic games, and it's like oh. Oh my god, why can't you just leave Lara alone? Let her raid tombs, okay? In peace, for God's sakes. But Tomb Raider remasters will remain uncensored instead of featuring performative disclaimer condemning harmful impact of original games. Funny thing about that, because, well... <sighs> If you were looking to escape the modern day sensibilities by installing a mod because, okay, you had the, you were greeted with this game as a collection, uh, in this collection contains offensive description of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. Uh, these stereotypes are deeply harmful, inexcusable, and do not align with our values of crystal dynamics. Rather than removing this content, we have chosen to present it here in its original form, unaltered, in the hopes that we may acknowledge its harmful impacts and learn from it.
Oh my god, you know what makes this even more insufferable? The fact that Crystal Dynamics had nothing to do with these remasters. They are just simply the modern day license holder and it was Aspire Games that was working on the remaster. Just a bunch of meddling shit dicks. And to move that, while an admitted step in the right direction still single er, signals a western video game industry is still too much focused on performative activism than it should be, Crystal Dynamics has announced that uh, through their upcoming remasters of the first three Tomb Raider games, and apparently there's an easter egg leading everybody to believe that the fourth one is going to get remastered as well there's so many tomb raider games i i was never a fan of the franchise it never did anything for me but i know that they are well loved that's out there and well you know trying to rewrite the past even as much as i am ambivalent normally towards it that's uh, that cause right there racing history something that i care about quite a bit so bringing it to light any way that i can i will i will do my part yes the games will be completely uncensored they will also feature a disclaimer decrying the harmful impact the series has supposedly had on players yeah like you know tricking the average chick into thinking that they could be an action star uh as discovered by series centric news outlet tomb raider chronicles a day that's a, also a game as well right uh the, uh, on the 360 if i do recall a day ahead of the remastered trilogy collections february 14th release a lot of girl power on valentine's day madam dropped on that day as well uh, upon booting up the game for the first time players are presented with a one-time disclaimer informing them that the games in the collection contain offensive depictions blah 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 we read through all of that still dynamics the marvel avengers developer may a couple continue rather than removing yes the content we must acknowledge its impact there's the black screen in all of its glory bags of shit that they are uh, though the developer did not provide details on which specific cultural depictions uh, picture non-connected uh, they felt warranted such a warning an educated guest suggests it could be in reference to various local enemies encountered by Lara Croft throughout her first three adventures and more specifically the Polynesian tribesmen enemy her enemies depicted in Tomb Raider 3 adventures of Lara Croft but you had to know you had to know that somebody would be meddling and this would simply be just too good to be true because here we are right here that despite the promise games would appear in their original form tomb raider one earth th yeah one through three remaster sensors risque graphic found on pierre's jacket a graphic I, I hard to make out graphic from back in the cut now brought up to a more visible res had to get rid of a fully clothed woman like what, what are we doing here you rate crystal dynamics trying to erase women and the latest example of don't trust everything a video game developer promises until you see it with your own eyes despite the game's eye-rolling disclaimer informing players uh, that they collected titles would be presented in their original form and unaltered it has been found that in tomb raider 1 through 3 remastered has a censored a risque illustration found in the series first entry so they weren't even really trying to hide it as previously reported upon booting up the game yes we've seen the black screen of death right there india had to know that that was going to be too good to be true in reality much of the dismay of a many of the many who had taken uh, the disclaimer at its word while the specific racial and ethnic depictions were left untouched pierre dupont the series antagonist bomber jacket in the very first tomb raider had a distinctive graphic emblazoned upon on it appearing as more as an easter egg than anything else due to the fact that it's only viewable during the rare moments during a boss fight you know where the player is able to get behind him the graphic in question in question features a completely nude woman oh my god so she's actually nude depicting oh herself depicted in a pinup style pose sitting underneath the text lucky lady and its abbreviation ll and as you can see she got a bra on on that one okay like i don't know has that been altered that's been changed because the original oh my god there it is okay and who would even know does she have like a tan colored bra on and that one you can't even tell man like that's the original render and there you have it right there it's like maybe that would have ended up changing the rating that could be on it it's interesting yeah in the interest of fairness it is possible that the disclaimers promise yeah uh, the remaster would be presented uncensored only applies to the racial and ethnic stereotypes but i'm also thinking it could it it could have ended up pushing the rating of the games higher that could end up being the case. I'm not trying to excuse their obvious lies, but however, yeah, either the developer's intention or the fact that they did not specifically clarify this detail to potential customers is nothing short of dishonest and sets a worrying new precedent in an industry that is already crumbling under the weight of its own continued hubris. Exactly. And then for the remaining beleaguered fans of the Tomb Raider franchise, like you guys have already been through a lot that there are very few game franchises that have been through as many middling releases. 
poor incarnations, failed reboots. It's getting to a point where they need to look into a you know sponsorship from Planned Parenthood with how many concepts that have been snuffed out in conception for this franchise. So hopefully one day it eventually gets back on track, but taking a look at the near future, oh, it doesn't look terribly bright. By terribly bright, I'm not looking into the future and seeing a Netflix reboot for Lara Croft. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.